Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a mandala manicure, and I have started off with Danny Digits Glitter Be Gone. This is no longer being made by this company. This company has turned into a new company called Baby Girl Lacquer, and it's still called Glitter Be Gone. I'll try to remember to link this down below. It is a peel-off base coat, and today I'm wearing the Zoya Pixie Dust, and this one is Solange just gorgeous and I had to do three coats of it and couldn't wait for it to dry so I ended up putting a top of top of it um, some posh top coat and then I also did a, another top coat of the salon perfect and it's called crystal clear and so I wore that for a day and now we're gonna do this stamping on it and I will be using the um, Clear Jelly Stamper Collaboration with Manisha M Plate, and it's GSLC18. And sorry about the glare. That's just not no way of avoiding that right now. And then I'm going to apply this orderly bonder to all my nails just because I'm going to be taking my time to do these stamps, and there's quite a bit of them. It's intricate, and I don't want to mess anything up, so I'll be putting this down so I have a sticky base. The polishes I'll be stamping with today is this Crayola Sally Hansen Insta Dry in white. And then Pure Ice. And this one is Silver Mercedes. And then those are both non stamping polishes. <laughs> and then the one stamping polish I'll be using is from Beauty Big Bang. And it is 002. And it's their black stamping polish. So I'm going to adjust some lights and we're going to. Oh! And I'm going to be using my Bundle Monster Scraper. And my little rectangular stamper. <laughs> I'm gonna get some lights adjusted and I'll be right back. Alrighty, I am back and we are going to hop on into it. I'll be starting off with the white from Sally Hansen and I'm gonna use this little bitty flower image down here as my center of the image. It doesn't take very much polish for that one because it's so little. Clean up the excess that I didn't want. And we're going to put this image down here in this corner. And then work our way out. Next is the silver Mercedes. And I'm going to be using this image right here. There's so many images you could get so messed up and <laughs> pick the wrong one. Kind of been eyeballing mine to make sure I'm picking up the right one. Alright. And then center that one around that one. There we go. And then next is the black stamping polish and I will be using this image up here. And originally I was going to do a, like a bee manicure, just bumblebees and I just, I don't know, wasn't talking to me so I decided to go ahead and do this one instead. And there we go. Alrighty, I've got my plate cleaned and we're going to do that same thing on some more nails. up that image. That one didn't pick up really good so I'm going to do it over again. I don't think I scraped very good on that one. So we're going to try it again. Much, much better. Now we're going to pick up this extra, the tape. And that one went on that one. So we're going to get start in this corner. I'm going to point her finger. Oh, and you know what? I forgot to put on the orderly bonder. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Hopefully I won't have any disasters. Okay, and then we're going to go back to that other image again. I was in such a hurry to play that I forgot a step. Kind of typical for Tina. There we go. Get this over here. Maybe y'all can see through it. 
And it is hard to get these images up in those corners, but we got it. Alrighty. Moving on. We got a lot of extra to clean up on that one. <laughs> Me, this just helps ensure I don't, you know, get too much um, excess design anywhere else on my nail where I don't want it. Okay, that did pretty good. I'm going to go ahead off camera and throw some, you know, sticky base coat on these other three because I don't want to run into any problems. I'll be right. Alrighty, I am back and I have that Orly Bonder on those other three nails. I just get so excited. I always forget stuff. That one didn't pick up really good either. I don't know what I'm doing. It might be this scraper because I don't normally use this scraper. I might not be getting a good scrape on it. And I didn't see my one I like, so we're just going to try to continue. much better. There we go. Okay, and then this one will go in this corner. Yells. And then now for our silver ring. Okay, and I did get some extra silver up here. I'm going to try to remove that with tape, which is not going to be as good because I, um, I did my little trick with the Gorley Binder. So I'm going to break out with my little acetone brush and just kind of dab it. There we go. You have to be very careful when doing stuff like that, but we got it. We're done. And then now for our big black ring around the outside. So I hope everybody's getting excited about Valentine's Day manicures. I know I am. <laughs> you guys know I love pink polish, so that's just like super duper fun. That's out of the way. Super duper because we got all them pink and purple and white and beautiful red manis. There we go. So that is that one. <clears throat> now I've been catty corner in these um, images. You know, like this one's in this corner and that one's in that one. And then, you know, just kind of moving them around. But on my ring finger, I'm going to try to kind of center it. I didn't do such a good job on my, <laughs> my other hand. It's not very centered. But that's okay. It's centered enough for me. Good enough. So we're going to try to do a better job on this hand. <clears throat> and that way when people say, show me your nails, I'll be like, here. <laughs> and just show them the, the bestest one. Okay. Try to get that up. Alright, so here we go. We're trying to center it. There we go. And that white doesn't show up just fantastic over there. And I didn't center that one very good either. But it's okay. And then we're going to do the silver ring. Um, yeah, but the white doesn't just like bling off of there like nothing. But I think when you put the three together, it all works. <clears throat> and it's nail polish. If I decide I really don't like it, it comes off. So far, I'm really liking this one. So, it might get to stay for a day or two.
<clears throat> Alrighty. Not too bad. Not not super duper centered, but not too bad. I can deal with that. I can live with it. Alright. Just so we're gonna clean this plate off one more time and get that pinky. Get that pinky nail. I'm gonna do some cleanup. Some top coating. Alrighty, so this one goes up into this corner. Loving it, loving it. And then the silver ring. Ta da! Silver ring. So I guess I could give y'all a quick update on my Nova. I've done really, really well. I'm very surprised. I mean, I know it's only been a couple of weeks, but, you know, we got to start somewhere. I do have an order from the Polish pickup coming in, and this was something I ordered before the official no-buy started, so we'll get to enjoy that. It was my first order, and apparently it'll be my like last one for a little while. I don't know. I might allow myself the Polish pickup. I just, I'm not going to just go crazy on collections this year. I'm going to try to behave. We'll see how I last. <laughs> you guys will be my witnesses to either my success or my failure. There we go. So there we go with that one. All right, I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup. I guess I could show y'all if any of this black is coming up with a piece of tape. Well, ew, look how bad I got. Got it all over. So, yeah, this is coming up pretty well with the tape. So I'm going to go clean the rest of this up with tape and some acetone, and we're going to come back and top coat it and let that pop, because the pop will, the pop, the black will pop. The pop will black, the black will pop. We'll get there. I'll be right back. Okay, now that my camera has focused, we're going to go ahead and put some top coat on these and seal that design in, and we'll cut it finished. It'll be finished. I just really love those pixie dust from Zoya. I wanted to wear it matte, you know, in its original textured formula, but it was getting kind of late when I was painting my nails, and I just decided, okay, I'd rather go ahead and wear it glossy and not have it messed up when I wake up in the morning than to, you know, wear it the way I wanted to. So, you know, sometimes I've got to make compromises. But these Pixie Dust from Zoya, they just bling so much when they've got a top coat on them. They're just so deep and rich looking. Oh, just love them. So, there we go. My little wild mandalas over gold. So, that is it. I hope you liked this one. Please leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. And, you know, if you like this kind of video, give me a thumbs up. Um, and if you don't like it, you know. I've moved on. You can give me a thumbs down. I can I can handle it. But um, I really do enjoy doing these videos for you all, and I'm glad that so many of you do enjoy what I do here on my channel. I want to thank you again for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.